the the station started out as a Lusu club uh, because it was a club. It was just whenever people could come in. Well, if people did have shows all hours of the day, but there were some shows for sure where there was definitely no one listening. So I remember being in the tiny little room that it used to be in and uh, doing our radio show. You know, from it was something like three to four in the morning. Literally, it was in a closet being played just on TVs in the university. I think it was two or three monitors that we had, one in the Agora, one in the Braun building, I'm not sure where the other one was, but they were just uh, television sets that hung. The janitors would often turn them off, and uh, most of our listenership was people waiting for the bus. And then even when uh, the station went uh, internet only, I distinctly remember days where I would come in and the same CD had been sitting on repeat for two or three days. And then Dave Angel and uh, Jason Wellwood, who's now the manager down here, had, had applied for this funding and uh, they, they managed to secure it. It will be nine years in February uh, that we've been in this house. When we first came in to look at it, I remember coming through with Dave Angel uh, for a walkthrough and there was orange shag carpeting in the living room and in the bathroom. Um, and while I was uh, taking care of things at the station, uh, Dave and his dad primarily came in and uh, retrofitted the house. I was in here and I got to see the place before anything was moved in. And then I helped out a handful of times with, uh, you know, demolishing certain things, rebuilding certain things, cleaning up the basement. And I think that was the idea from the start, was to make it a real radio station, but nobody was really sure how to do it. It's bittersweet evolving from an internet-only radio station to a you know FM radio station because the CRTC gets involved and you know there's certain formats, there's certain things that need to be honored, but it's part of growth and evolution. So we embrace that. It's a challenge that we rise up to every day. Um, radio nerds or really hardcore music lovers or information junkies uh, really became attracted to the station. just hang out with the people that I went to high school with in university. I was eager to meet new people with similar interests and the radio station just was an obvious choice. It gives new students and students transitioning into the campus culture, it gives them, really gives them a home on campus. And being a student, I think getting involved with LU Radio is really a fun way to get connected also to the wider community. We're just looking for people that are really passionate. Like, that is the number one thing, because if you're not really into it, you're not going to stick around. The people who are here are here because they love the station. They love what it is that they're bringing to the station and being able to uh, to, to give to, to our listening audience. I was doing a youth, like a youth skills program, training program at uh, Yes Employment Services, and uh, my job counselor that was there ended up phoning uh, Jason here at LE Radio. They ended up talking, and placement was provided for me. I was looking for a co-op that I was going to enjoy and I called and I got my interview and it was terrifying because first seeing Jason, he was like a huge dude with like lots of tattoos and piercings and I was like, this guy is so rad. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna hire me. And then he did. I mean, I'm a volunteer. I spend about 20 hours a week doing a radio show and I do it for free because I love it. It's so satisfying at the end of the day. It's so rewarding. I, I like that. What LA Radio attracts is the people who want something different, who want to have that variety in their lives, who want to be able to be exposed to new music. And the station's listeners they don't listen to the station for background noise. You know, they want to hear the information that we're, we're putting out there. They want to hear the music. From a musical perspective, once things are released, they're on LE Radio right away. We cover jazz, blues, country, country rock, uh, all sorts of different fusions of music that your generation is uh, enjoys. I don't think you could try to define us as a station and come anywhere close with one sentence because it's 
there's just no chance. There's just such a diversity. You know, demand for hip hop music is at an all time high. It's, it's arguably the most popular genre right now. And, you know, before I came to LU Radio, I didn't think we had a very boisterous, you know, outlet for it as far as a show. We have the door wide open to community members, whether they be artists, musicians, or folks from other ethnic communities who want to share their, their language on the air. When you go out of town and when you travel around, to have that community. And I feel like when I went to LU Radio, it was definitely that. I've had people on during a uh, like an anti-suicide campaign where they talked about their like deepest moments in their life and then they're sharing that with the whole community and I think it's really exposing a lot of people to like the diversity of Thunder Bay. Community created content as opposed to content just created for the community. Understanding and recognizing that we are as a people we're all about freedom of speech and freedom of speech means freedom of speech it means you should be able to say what you want. I get very political. I say political things. I try to keep it legal when I talk on the radio without being uh, libelous or what have you. But I've also phoned the Prime Minister's office and put it on the speakerphone for the radio, you know, and which people love. We're not reading off of scripts that are prepared for us by other people. Um, we're not playing music that is, you know, being given to us by other people. It's cool that, um, this is kind of like my baby, you know, like I, I write it, I research it, and I put all the songs together myself. So they're not just picking this song because that's what the record company is pushing. They're picking, oh, track seven, because they like it more. I think our show is good. That is one of the things, like we play the things we want to hear, but I don't, a lot of it no one else is playing. I come across artists and I think, how did I not know about this guy? This is so good. With corporate control radio, you tend to get music that's also mandated and has a certain kind of overall texture and, uh, and direction. This idea that local is uh, not so good, that's, that's, that's just wrong. LU Radio has been incredibly supportive of musicians regardless of genre, which is absolutely fantastic. A, a lot of radio stations have a, a niche that they sort of follow, and so any artists that don't really follow that mold, it's really difficult for them to get any kind of uh, recognition or even mention on air or anything like that. I've got this broken. There's such a tight knit and incredible arts community in Thunder Bay, and everybody helps each other. And I think the station really has helped not only increase the awareness of this arts community in Thunder Bay, but it's also helped bring people together. I do think that if, you know, if the funding stopped and the fundraising stopped and, and LU Radio just evaporated overnight, I think there would be a loss. If LU wasn't around, I'd say a large chunk of uh, promotion and exposure for local and independent artists would be, yeah, it would be compromised a lot. I would miss this so much. It, it's a big part of my life. It's really enjoyable. We're just really lucky here. Yeah. LU Radio plays a huge part in promoting the local bands and making them as well known as they are. It's as if you took the best things from all radio stations and put them together in one radio station, I believe you get LU Radio. This is a station with a lot of promise. I wish I could do more, you know, but we, we as students and young professionals, you know, we have numerous competing priorities, but we, we assist wherever we can, and I look forward to doing more, more of the same in years to come. Everybody really, really strives to get along, to understand, and to uh, to you know come together and love each other. And it's just a, a phenomenal feeling to be part of the station.